I think there's you know great hope. <laughs> we now have um, things to support people like uh, exogenous ketone supplements. Um, we still have a long way to go to find out how helpful they will be. Um, many people struggle with being on a very strict, super strict ketogenic diet, and, and you know this may help with that. Um, but uh, you know those types of studies need to be conducted urgently. Um, Dr. Stephen Kunain um, is being funded by the Alzheimer's Association right now. He just finished a study with MCT oil that looks really good. The results should be coming out soon, and um, the Alzheimer's Association is funding his study with the ketone ester that's about to start. And so that's uh, very exciting that. Um, the Alzheimer's Association has really come around to it. They had a session on ketones in 2017. They're gonna have another one this summer, headed by Dr. Kunain. And um, so back in 2008 and 2009, I could not get them to even listen to me about it. They didn't wanna study it, they didn't believe it. You know, They didn't wanna tell anybody that MCT or coconut oil could help you, even though it, it was just food. Um, but now they've, they've come around and they're actually funding the study. So, you know, that's gratifying to me. And um, if they, if the studies are positive and it's presented at their conference, I think that will get out to many, many more people. There are about 5,000 researchers that attend that conference. And, you know, my hope is that, um, you know, this message will just, you know, get out in a, a much bigger way, you know, because of that. And, you know, I think some of the, uh, like exogenous ketone companies, ketone salts, they're getting the message out in a really big way. And I think a lot of that, you know, this, uh, the keto diet is a fad diet now, you know, very popular diet is has something to do with exogenous ketones being out on the market. And one thing I find that some people will start with that, they'll have a really poor diet and they'll start taking something like ketone salts and they start feeling better. And then they think, well, you know, maybe nutrition is important. And they start looking more closely at their diet and they start eating healthier. I've seen that a lot, quite a lot, you know, um, in the past couple of years. So, um, you know, if we can get people to eat less sugar and eat more fat, more healthy fats, I think that's a message that, um, that, that I want to continue, you know, putting out there as well.